Hey Flock, Mike here from Epic Duck Studios and I'm here with Howling Griffins Paint by Numbers Part 7. In this video I'm going to be detailing the black areas of the model, that's going to be the bolt pistol and just the pouches across his back. I'm using three paints for this. I'll be using first Reaper Noir Black, now this is the same black I used as the base coat for those areas. I like Reaper Noir Black because it's got just a little bit of a gray tint to it, it's just not quite a pure black. And so that means when you apply, for example, a Null Oil Wash across it, you've got somewhere to go because it's not already a really deep black. It's got a little bit of depth it can still give. I'll also be using Mechanicus Standard Gray as a highlight. And Administratum Gray as the second highlight. I'm going to start by just taking a little bit of the Noir Black look for any areas that just don't look black enough. Maybe they accidentally got a little bit of the yellow on them. There's not a lot. In fact, we could skip that step entirely, it looks like. A few little blemishes on the bolt pistol. That's really about it. So next up, I'm going to grab a little bit of the Mechanicus Sander Gray and just use this as a general highlight. I'm going to start by just grabbing sort of the edges of the bolt pistol. pouches here. I'm just kind of giving them a general outline in this color in the Mechanicus standard gray. Just come across the tops. And of course the bottom. These do have a little flap as well, so I'm kind of hitting around the midpoint. Now with the holster for the bolt pistol, it's a little bit of a larger detail. And you may want to put a little more time into detailing it as a result. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to actually add a little bit of texture to it by bringing some light scratches in with this color. Oh, that one being a little too big, that's okay. Next up, I'm going to move over to the Administratum Gray. And I'm going to really work this in from the corners. I want to basically appear that this is you know, a patented leather that's catching the light a little bit. But not too much. I really don't want to overdo it. I mean, this color, compared to the base coat, is practically white, and so it's really easy to go too far with it. On the other hand, you can still always go all the way to white, so even if you think you've gone too far, there's still further to go. Just gonna add this into one or two of those little scratches. Just like that. Just give it a little bit of surface texture. A little bit on that side as well. And with the smaller pouches, we just be a little more careful and really just kind of hit those corners. Now keep in mind, right out here is actually going to be underneath a backpack. So you're really not going to see this part. 
over here you would, but these two little pouches are going to be almost totally obscured. Which also means highlighting them is a little bit of a waste of time, because, well, functionally there wouldn't be a light there. But it's too late now. I've already done it. Alright, now I'm just going to repeat the same on the bolt pistol. Now, some of that looks just a little bit too heavy-handed, so I'm going to come with just a little bit of Nuln Oil to add some deeper shadows back in. Alright, there we go. The blacks are really not an interesting aspect to this model, but really once you get past the quarter base coat, everything else is just touch-ups. So there's one video left where I'm just going to finalize all the small details, such as the purity seal, adding some deeper lining, and of course just fixing all the little blemishes along the way. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's plenty more here on YouTube. You can also join me twice a week at twitch.tv slash epicduckstudios on Thursday and Sunday evenings at 8 p.m. Eastern, where I do stream my painting live. If you want to support the show, you can do that at patreon.com slash epicduck. Even giving as little as a dollar a month helps keep the lights on and the paint flowing. You can also help by hitting subscribe here on YouTube or sharing this video with some friends. Thanks a lot.